Hello everybody and welcome, my name is S. Ryan and this is a 20 player huge TSL Earth map as Genghis Khan, but with a difference today. That's right, I've been talking to my Patreon supporters and they had an idea for a pretty cool sounding game, so I thought I'd give it a go. People familiar with this channel will know that I love a good TSL Earth game. If you're not familiar with the channel, you won't know that TSL just stands for True Start Earth. Basically that's what this is, this is the huge True Start Earth map as provided by Civ 6. We're playing as Genghis Khan and basically it's just a big car crash and I love it. Specifically, today we're playing the base game map with 20 players. I think I've got a bunch of city states loaded in. Yeah, 24. I've got no game modes attached at all. There are a couple of mods that I've added. I'm playing on Deity++. It's the usual mod we play with because it's really good fun. Again, if you haven't seen me explain this before, Deity++ is a mod that allows a difficulty setting that is two stages beyond deity. So effectively the difference between emperor and deity. This mod makes it from deity to deity plus and then to deity plus plus because the game was just too easy for too long. Does deity plus plus fix it? Not really but it kind of makes it a little bit better and a little bit better is all we need. I just realized I have alternate cartography still on. Whoops I don't think it's a effect save games but I might have to put that when I put the game map up, sorry about that. But otherwise, I'm also playing with Religion Expanded because I don't remember the last time I went for a religious victory on a TSL map full stop. And also, because I just love this mod, it adds so many cool different religions and different things. For somebody who's played more than 3,000 hours, it's just a little bit cool. And that kind of is the real game here. We are going to be playing Mongolia and we're going to be showing off religious Mongolia. Now I don't want to say pacifist Mongolia because I am a Sarine and quite frankly if I see a cavalry horde I will cavalry horde but Mongolia are experts at religious victories often overlooked in that particular regard and we're going to give them a proper good go. Just you wait, just you wait. All about diplomatic visibility of which Mongolia are just amazing and we thought it would be fun to play as Genghis Khan rather than Kublai. Kublai are even better at religious victories. They are so good it's ridiculous, but we have played with them on a TSL map recently, so Genghis it is. Now, trust me when I say that this TSL star is horrendous because China are on this map. I do always test my files out a little bit just to make sure they're loading with all the mods. Yeah, China start down here, and if you remember my Kublai game, they're horrendous. Let me just tell you now, on Deity++ with more warriors and more starting strength, they are even worse than they are normally. Like, they are horrendously bad. I, oh, poor us, Orion. I've been rolled over so many times in practice. So what I'm going to do, especially because this, like, start is just trash, I'm going to do my usual trick of Mongolia, of running running away bravely and hiding back up in the tundra. Then also the there is a wonder right next turn. to Mongolia's start, so astrology is of course boosted. Exciting time, Ex exciting time. Right, I'm basically going to run up and go and use this fresh water up here because as I say China really is just down there, it is horrendous. And we've just got to decide where or not we want this start to be. There are furs up to the north, there is a forest that I could settle on. I mean, really, this is all terrible. I might settle just a little bit further up here. There we go. There is a first tower there. I think that's a decent settle for me. That should be fine. Yeah, poor old Mongolia. We really do have a problem beginning of the game, but that is okay. Good old Ryzantium. I can say Ryzantium. It's a fun name. Hehe. <laughs> Astrology boosted. We're going to get that going nice and quickly and I'd also like to boost up the culture tree just a tiny bit so a monument might be a good idea. However, however, this is also a start with China on it so I'm going to go for the double slinger start rather than going for scouts and now that I've settled my city, oh they've, they've come to find me, we'll go and say hello to China. Hello China! See what I mean? Had I started there, basically like in every single attempt China would have just settled and then spammed warriors right to me immediately. It's horrendous. Minus nine on the unknown relationships. There's no point even trying to be friends with China. They are going to just be horrible and to be honest we are playing as Genghis so a friendly relation with China would be weird. You know what's the point in their walls if we don't just sort of fling our troops at them. I did pick up a recon unit from a tribal hut. The nice. World There's the hollow course. which I am right next to as well. Now this I believe it's just a flat production food and faith boost, which is fine. But 
It also means in this particular game, we're going to start to do things like getting preserves. Now, in order to get a religious victory, we need to be obviously jumping on faith as quickly as we can. That does involve building holy sites, like for instance, this tile, I think is a nice plus four. That'll be pretty cool. But yeah, preserves are going to be awesome. They will jack up the faith generation of the hollow quite nicely. It is always a little bit unfortunate. With these naturally occurring wonders, preserves and holy sites kind of, they kind of jam off the same vibe. So one will really kind of clog up the other, which is a little bit unfortunate. Korea. Now, if I can make Korea, my friend, that would be better. Here we go. Minus five. That's fine. So we're on to minus two now. That's that's okay. We might be able to make friends with Korea. You never know. Unfriendly. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I can also, hopefully, steal this. They've left it open for me. Oh, that is a dick move from me, but I get military tradition and I get a bit of gold. Huzzah! Good thing about Korea and China being on the same map is that they should war each other before warring me. Hopefully. They're a bigger threat to each other. Oh, 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 Korea. Oh, oh, there's no way I'd survive. Even if I took that, they'd kill me immediately. Fine, you are, you are taunting me, Korea, with that settler. Oh, how dare you. Oh, China are going to send their task force to the north. Okay, that's a little bit annoying, but sure, I've got two slingers being built for this exact reason. That should keep me a little bit more safe. There is astrology. Okay. Holy sites to the rescue. Oh, what a what a surprise. What a surprise. It's it's totally a surprise war when you don't see it coming, eh? Okay. Well, this is always a little bit of a pain when this happens, but fine. What I'm hoping is that Korea take advantage of this opportunity and just immediately declare on China. That would be really really cool. Do you remember I said that I absolutely wouldn't guarantee as well that I would be peaceful this game? I intend to stick to that promise. Like if China annoy me too much, I am I am gonna go to them and I'm gonna war them badly. Because after all, religious victories, they're easier if some people are dead. Okay, Samarkand is just resting a warrior on a tribal hut, which is really annoying. Uh, they have just left a unit uh, that is killable. Hang on, let's just quickly take that care of. Uh, God King, yes. Discipline, yes. Let's do that. Perfect, 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 perfect. And then we'll go one attack, two attacks like that. Bam. Archery boosted. An archery boost in this game would be amazing. Yeah, look. Oh, for God's sake, get off this tile, you idiots. Am I going to survive this? I might not survive this, you know. Depends if they kamikaze their warrior and I've brought it down to pretty low health, so sometimes they don't. It just depends if it thinks it can survive this round of attacks. Nope, it does. Okay, right, well, I told you, this, ch this start is just horrible. It's horrible. Ugh, fine. Basically, the lesson here, I've gone back 10 turns, is that I need to utilize this choke point a little bit better. If I keep a unit kind of on this tile, then I should, hopefully, stop them from attacking with two units at the same time. So that is something I do need to just look yeah. at. Okay, yes, yeah, so we've, we've done all this before, Korea, okay? We've done all this before. It does leave a slinger a little bit more exposed than it would be normally, but, like, it stops them from advancing onto that tile, and I can always retreat it back across the river if I need to. Alternatively, I could go for a warrior over a slinger. No, we'll go for a slinger, because what I'm going to do is that once, here you go, they've done exactly the same thing. They've left that there. Fine. Uh, I will send the delegation. Oh, no, I missed that. I didn't do it in the same turn. See, look, it's not an identical pattern. But uh, the warrior, I'm going to bring my warrior back. Um, that should help a little bit as well. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. I know you're bringing me units across. I know what you're doing, China. Come on, don't don't even pretend. Oh, this time I got a builder unit. Okay. It's, uh, I love how tribal huts are sometimes a little bit different. What do I do with a builder? There's literally nothing I can do with this builder other than just sort of keep it in my capital for now and look pretty. Just... You little handsome men, you stand strong. Oh yeah, look at that. Very strong. Oh, perfect. They won't come anywhere near me with that sort of feat of muscle. Okay, yep, yeah, they, they attacked me as kind of expected. That's fine. Uh, I'm a, no, I'm a seed of evil. I'm basically like mustard. That's, that's my role in this game. Oh, ideal terrain, combat difficult. This is the problem about Deity++. Plus Plus. They get a nice tasty plus six on all combat, which is horrible when I'm trying to defend with slingers. Um, I 
think I'm just going to keep this warrior here for a turn, actually. This slinger, I don't want it to die, so I might have to draw it back. But that's given me at least a turn of extra attacks, which is cool. reason I wasn't building a, another unit in Ryzantium was because I had a bit of gold, so I was like, right, I'll just buy in a, a warrior when I do get the gold to do that. And I thought I'd, you know, just buy the holy, build the holy site. It's probably more useful. But even if I build more units, there's nowhere I can really put them in this choke point. I'd rather them just hold out for now. They did move forward a little bit. They keep on attacking my warrior, but basically I've drawn Miss Slinger away from the battle, which is useful. And now this unit is not on a forest. That's much more targetable. Hopefully they'll attack the slinger across the river, which they will uh, not enjoy. The longer I can hold this warrior there as well, that's good. Yeah, look, it's pulled the warrior away. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, just this as a distracting unit wisdom. has massively helped already. So bringing that warrior back. All I've got to do is survive hopefully about 10 turns, and then I'll get peace. I probably won't get peace. I probably will just get the opposite of peace, which is, um, you know, anti-peace. Now, leaving this warrior there will kill it so I'm going to draw it back one tile hopefully they'll chase me if they chase me because they can see me across the lake is the thing hopefully they'll chase me oh yes look Korea has denounced China as well come on Korea you're going to lose this city if you don't take their capital and their warrior is up here you know you can do it this is why I'm rushing foreign trade I'm like right if I can get joint wars this will be brilliant and look they are following my warrior the trap has worked perfectly we have managed to utterly bewildered them and instead of leveling this unit up i'm just going to get that warrior kill archery boosted Ryzantium is safe for a little bit come on just bring it back up gilgamesh i love you gilgamesh and if it's quiet we'll ride there we go friends already with gilgamesh he's the best and has foreign trade boosted as well i'm not gonna obviously but what we've been doing in the last few games is i have not been using the joint war uh bug i also have not been buying where is it? Diplomatic favor for zero. Although the mod I'm using to change the AI, real strategy, that does get rid of that bug anyway, so I can't even do that. But we are not exploiting, although I really should be exploiting, because quite frankly, this game is hard enough as it is. Look, we are really pulling them back up. That's great. However, we're now on to round two, Electric Boogaloo, and they are coming at me from a different direction. But now we have a garrison and volley slinger combo so we've got a lot more power available to us Korea have gone for China good 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 that may distract some of their units at Cal the capital has already been attacked once yeah they've got a lot of warriors still by me hopefully China will pull those back when they realize they can't defend their own land I mean knowing the AI though what they're probably gonna do is just ignore that and go for me anyway uh, Yerevan I'm gonna put an envoy with them I'll give me an extra faith per turn and give me a pantheon twice as quickly yep look they don't care about their own lands. They're just charging after this one warrior. And then my unit's here as well. Oh, don't do that, Scout. You've... Oh, they've sieged this city. That is not good. We do not like that at all. Anyway, Yerevan is a fantastic pickup in all of that. Being able to make apostles choose their promotion is huge. It's a huge thing. Oh, they're attacking my slinger instead. Don't you dare, Barbs. Don't you dare. You leave me alone. Nope, they're just going to still siege my flipping city. That is annoying and a half. Ugh, and <laughs> they're still chasing after me. They are still chasing after me. This warrior is doing God's work. It really, really is. You really need to pull your troops back, China. You, you really do. Okay, they're pulling their units back. They are pulling their units back. Yes, 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 yes. Take advantage of this. Get the kill. Oh, I didn't quite get the kill, but still, that's tasty. Holy sight completed. Era score obtained tasty i think my goal this game uh you know apart from a religious victory is to do the good old preserve quadruple if i can do that around the hollow i think i'll die relatively happy shanghai is going to be problematic in that though i might need to kill that but you know killing any chinese city is going to be an amazing thing for me anyway hang on right so if i go to that then i need a city over here to put this one in so i'm kind of forced to put a city in one of these two I think I'll put the city on this tile. It'll be a useless, useless city, but that's fine. I'll put a city there. And then that's a bump, bump, bump. And then this city is a little bit more helpful. So I'll put it there. Okay. Totally useless, that. Totally useless. In fact, I've changed my mind already. If I put the city on that tile, I can still aqueduct over. But that means that I can get a nice holy site 
on this tile, which will be delicious. This tile, again, just next to the hollow. I know I'm getting rid of some tiles next to the hollow, but it's, it's the hollow I'm looking at. I'd rather just enjoy the beautiful holy site adjacency. It's a car crash. I know it's a car crash, but it's my car crash, you know? China don't want peace. They just want to continually be beaten by Korea. Fine, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. I am going to spam the holy site prayers. I would like first religion. I'm probably not going to get first religion on a map like this, but if I can, it gives me huge, huge choice. Look at the city-states around here. Gilgamesh, you better be friends to them all because there are some lovely ones. Yerevan, I mean, Yerevan is just like, it's my soul animal. I really want to take that one. That's great. Yeah, this choke point is working so well. I'm getting so many kills. So many kills. Lovely stuff. Choose a pantheon. Holy sites receive a standard faith adjacency bonus from Tundra and Tundra Hills. Oh, would give me a little bit more stuff. Okay, that, that wouldn't be too bad. Extra food and production from camps would massively help. Actually, I have picked up Animal Husbandry, haven't I? So I really should be getting that camp involved. So that would make this tile amazingly good. Combat victories give faith. That doubles up really nicely, I guess. But oh, faith from tiles with breathtaking appeal. There we go. That's the one I want. I have a lot of breathtaking tiles around here. I am a breathtaking sort of boy. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh. Lovely stuff. Yes, it's all about faith generation. I need to get as much faith as I can. You've got to have faith. Like George Michael was so clear on this point. And when you're going for religious victory, it just remains to be true. Look, China are still chasing me with that warrior. Bless them. You're going to be chasing that for a long time, my friends. A long, long time. Okay, China held off the attack and have built walls, and Korea's also lost their city. Korea, I feel like that was a failed attack. I'm very grateful for you attempting that attack, but, I mean, yeah, that wasn't very effective. Manatore. I might just, like, not tell you who I'm meeting, because it's quite clear at the top, and it's just all these huge games. It's just basically when I edit it, I'm always just like, and here's this person, and here's this person, and here's this person, and it must be really, really annoying to watch. And here's Georgia. <laughs> you see? You see what I mean? Oh, well, they're not doing so well, actually. Dear, oh dear. Oh, Gilgamesh. Oh, you cheeky rapscallion, you. Look at this. What are you doing in Tbilisi? What are you doing, eh? Oh, so cheeky. Oh, well, I feel like this is the end of the line. There is, unfortunately, a barb scout pinning me in. I'm going to just take a defensive position on this mountain, uh, this sort of tundra hill wood style. I mean, I'm getting huge defensive bonuses, but unfortunately, China's warrior is pretty tough. Unless I can get some sort of last minute diplomatic effort. Nope, not going to happen. Nope. Goodbye, kind sir. I can't tell you how useful you were. That warrior probably kept me alive. It probably kept me alive this entire game. So good on you, sir. Right, extra furs. I'm selling my furs at the beginning of the game because I'm getting a lot more benefit just sort of, you know, yeeting them into the nether. But there is an archer and there's an archer. Go on then, China. Give me your best shot. I am prepared for you now. Uh, and just wait. I could get a shrine. I'm picking up a religion pretty quick, so I think I'm going to save myself for the settler. Now I can do things like shooting things with archers at triple effectiveness. Yeah, my city's safe now. They, they've missed their opportunity, China. As soon as I get archers, it's like, nope. My god, don't you pillage that holy site. Don't you dare. No, 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 no. Yep, they did. They did. Their scout just pillaged my holy site. You are... <sighs> Absolute twazak. It'll be two turns to fix that, and I'm trying to rush a holy victory. I'm trying to do it. There's the Sahara. Okay, turn experience for my scout is basically the most exciting thing that happened there. And I really, really want China to just chill out for a second because <laughs> I've got barbs up here that are more annoying. So much more annoying than anything they're doing. I'm not willing to trade there. Oh, you asses. Why? Ugh. Yeah, you see what I mean about barbs? These are the problems. I have huge barbs. Isn't it ironic that Mongolia is having problems with barbs coming from the north? <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say yes. Luckily I can one-shot kill slingers with my promotions, so that's, that's pretty decent. Luckily as well, as soon as they make their way over, I have very powerful archers that just sat in my capital, so that's fine. It's just this sort of approach, which is the more annoying thing. Peace, peace, good. Thank you, China. Thank you. Oh, and don't tell me I claw at the dirt, career. You just massively failed attacking China there, so that is your fault, my friend. Anyone want to buy my diplomatic favor? Oh, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. All the extra gold at the beginning of the game. I will take it. Come on, I'm so close to getting a nice early religion here. Oh, yes. Perfect. I'm going to go for Golden Age as well. That is beautiful. We love, love an early game Golden Age. In fact, five turns. I'm going to get a huge chunk of Era Score by settling next to this hollow and in the Tundra. Do I save it? Do I save it? I don't think there's any point in saving it. I'd rather just get the infrastructure down and do it like that. There's other ways for me to get Golden Ages, so that's fine. Perfect. Rome already has 48 science, which is crazy. I mean, Korea's got 51. I get that, but Korea is Korea, you know? That's just what Korea does. But Rome getting it is even more worrying. Okay, the religion should be now just about sorted. Do I try and build the Temple of Artemis? Man, that would make my capital so much better, but it also would be a little bit pointless. Uh, I need a bit more food in my capital. I need the growth. I think a granary, a monument, all these important build. Yeah, we're gonna just have to build infrastructure for a second. It feels like a bit of a waste, but I need my capital to be just like a bit better. Just a touch better. Luckily, I found another uh, 20 favor in a tribal hut, so perfect. Maybe I shouldn't be doing gold pattern deals with Georgia, but it looks like they're getting their capital back, so... Maybe I think that's, that's it's an okay proposition. Tribal hut completed! Era score. Again, I should have done that next turn. I'm an idiot. Why? Why did you do that, Ryan? Come on. Think. Think! Golden Age. Huzzah! Okay, right. Now, normally I'd go monumentality, but we're going to go proper full religion run in this game. I'm going to go for Exodus of the Evangelist. It's an amazing thing. Helps me to really, really get my religion out early game, which is wonderful for me. I also now have my holy prophet and here it is what are we going to go for today something something horsey i think oh it's not a horse but that that is a cool animal we're gonna go for that one i'm calling my religion can't say no to this <laughs> faith it's all about faith you've got to have faith and i think we're going to be doing anything that gives me more faith it's going to come of one of two things. Either it's going to help my city to grow, which will let me work more faith tiles, or it's going to directly give me faith. So I think, for instance, going for work ethic or feed the world would be a good idea for my religion so far. I do have a shrine. I have a huge, huge lack of food in my capital. And to work all of these food tiles, I think feed the world. I'm just, I'm just gluttonously enjoying going for feed the world. That is a good thing. One of the beliefs that is modded and will massively flow into how I'm playing with Mongolia is this one. Militaristic sect. Religious units receive plus five strength in theological combat. <laughs> okay then. Okay. I mean, I guess I could do that if I, if I, if I had to. <laughs> right. Missionaries. Uh, I do want to make sure that my religion gets expanded as quickly as possible, but I am going to go and convert people nice and quickly. Do I know anybody who's making a religion? Samaria, in theory, was making a religion, but have kind of given up for now. That's Georgia. Oh, I could go and just knock their religion out really quickly with my missionary, if I can actually get over there. It's probably a little bit far away. Hmm, I've got five spreads. I'll just hold a fire for now, I think, but it's something I definitely want to look at. Oh, masonry boosted. Nice. <laughs> Can't say no to this. <laughs> oh, I love it. I make myself laugh. And if I make myself laugh, then that's... That's a good thing, right? Portugal's already on 300 gold per turn and it's turned 50. Yay, Portugal! Oh man, I really fancy playing Portugal on a TSL map at some point. I know it's something we've done like 7 million times, but man, it's fun. Korea, where are all these units going? They had a bunch of warriors that were just heading over in this direction. I hope they were barb clearing. If they weren't, they are attacking me. And I don't like them attacking me. Because I thought Korea and myself were chill. I can only assume your reluctance to spread your religion comes from a lack of conviction. Oi! I'm actively spreading it. Leave off. I just feel like sometimes the AI is impatient, especially Behold. Congo. It's like, oh, you're not doing anything. It's like, I am doing something. I'm doing something at full speed here, okay? Leave me alone. One missionary actually managed to convert three, no, four cities and then like a little bit as well. That's really cool. Zulu, honor to meet you. Congo, oh yeah, the Congo really wants my fur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm immature. So Georgia has this religion, but they still only have it in one city. So what I've managed to do is ferry a missionary kind of like all the way over from one side of the map to another. 
in the hope that I can start converting things. They're not going to like it, but honestly, I don't care. Hee <laughs> hee, reformed church already, but that already is going to stop people from immediately following their religion. Oh yeah, look, they're denouncing me. Well, tough, you should have spread your religion more. And to be fair, they probably will now spread their religion more. Yeah, it now follows in two cities. In two cities. Okay, so they actually do now have a missionary. Oh, Yerevan has just been spread. So, I reckon if I go down this way, I'll probably see a missionary. First governor, and I'm gonna do the incredibly sensible thing of starting with Moksha. Of course I am. Moksha is pretty useless, but he does eventually get patron saint, which gives you apostles. Getting an extra promotion. Combine that with Yerevan, and I'm hoping I'll be able to tailor pick the best apostles that I could ever need. Always remember to sell your open borders. The AI will often buy it for way more than you'd think. And like, that's probably about 200 gold I've just made selling it to everybody. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Extra shrine there. There we go, we can be starting to feed the world now. It's all good. It's all good. Um, oh, China have actually settled right on that city that I wanted them to settle on. Okay, cool. I should probably go to war with China. That is probably something I should do. we got battering ram going on there. Uh, to do that, I'll need a trader. So you do that quickly. Norway has appeared, but that's not interesting. The interesting Ooh. thing, coupe, right, again, not interesting, is look at this. I think Nubia went for the goddess of the Reeves and Marshes. Yeah, Lady of the Reeves and Marshes. So they've actually gone for an amazing Nile. Good on you. That actually means that Nubia are going to be a huge power force in this game. They're going to do really well. Oopsie. Was that your religious holy site capital holy city thing, Georgia? That's a shame, isn't it? That is a shame. Uh, suddenly they have seven cities following their religion, which is a problem, but only three of their own cities, so we just need to go and find those quickly. Oh, there's one of them. Tee hee hee. Have we done it? Have we done it? Or is the game going to royally screw us off at the last minute? It might do. It likes to do things like that. I can't, when I saw the I can't deny, Artemis but there it is. The, the Temple clouds. of Artemis. Those I thought this might be a good addition for my brilliancy. capital. Just and actually said, giving me a little bit more food, a Olympus, little bit more housing, lots of amenities because I've got so, so many grand. camps around. Yeah. My, basically, my, my capital needed a helping hand to do something productive, and I think that is a good thing there. Wonderful. I think I'm going to get the preserve down because that would be good fun to do. Oh, there's another Georgian city following my religion now. Oh, no. What a shame. Okay, Zugdidi, the only city that now follows their religion. Okay, this is good. This is good. Eastern Orthodoxy. Oh, hang on. There's something back in their capital. Is that a missionary? Is that a competitive missionary? It might be. Go and have a little peek, shall we? Boop, 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 boop. Yes, there is a missionary there. Okay, fine, fine. We're going to just keep spreading it. I don't think this one missionary is going to be enough to knock it out of Georgia, but I was just having some fun. I, I had some spare faith. <laughs> what else am I going to do with it? 43 faith per turn coming in at the moment. That is awesome. Wait until I get temples in. Don't mind me as well as if I just get a cheeky trade route with China. Boom. That gives me a lovely currency boost, but also make sure that if we do go to war, I have a little bit of combat strength on them. Hugely important for fighting China. Oh yeah, they're just buying more missionaries now. Okay, that's that's a little bit unfortunate, but that's fine. That just means that next time we go over, we need to be throwing apostles at them rather than just missionary spam. That's okay, we, we're fine with that. Gotta be classical republic for a religious win. It's just more amenities and more just good stuff generally. We're building settlers soon. Yeah, urban planning is good as well. And I believe we're gonna go for the double diplomatic cards to try and just make some city-state friends as best we can. Oh, Tamir has gone for Yerevan. You see, this this cannot be. I'm not happy with that. That's annoying. We might need to get Amani in to just sort that one out a little bit, I think. Barb's just keep pillaging my stuff over and over and over and over and over and over, and it is the most annoying thing. Come on, please stop. I have been so well behaved this game. Apart from my religious warfare, we're ignoring that. Apart from that, we've been very well behaved, and I feel like I need to be given some credit for that. Okay, they're attacking me. That's fine. That's fine. But please don't pillage my important stuff. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. They're going to pillage that. Luckily, I'm getting a builder involved, so hopefully I'll be able to push that one through. But look, I've got more open borders deals. Nope, not at all. But what about diplomatic favor? 
Yeah, 75 gold for that. I'm just saving up to 500 gold. That is the big one for me. I think I'm going to go for a Spearman Spam. Yeah, that could be a really good way of just taking a couple of these Chinese cities and pegging them back a little bit. And she's saying that they've already gone to 57 strength in their city. You know what? It just sounds awful. Why would I do that? Let's not do that. This is going to be such a weird game because I'm just not focusing on science and culture at all. I'm going crazy faith build. I mean, I've done so much war recently. I just, I just liked the idea of playing a slightly peaceful Mongolia. Which is just a really weird one, I know. The bird figure cult. Oh, Norway. What are you doing? Okay, Eastern Orthodoxy is going crazy. Catholicism starting to grow. Portugal's religion starting to grow. That's fine. That's fine. We don't mind this. Actually, really, it's just um, Gilgamesh's cities have been converted. Yeah, but I'm now only one civic away from theology. Theology means temples. Temples means apostles. And if I can pick up Yerevan at the same time, which I'm hoping I will be able to do, then I should be able to just jump on that one. And here is a grove. Woohoo! Look at these tiles already working well. Bit of extra food, bit of extra culture, lots of extra faith. Lovely. I really like that. I really like that a lot. Unfortunately, I don't like the fact that it's two turns until the medi medieval era. And I'm not going to get a golden age because I've literally sat here doing nothing. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well that's a bit annoying because I really wanted to go for Exodus again, but what can you do? You just have to roll with what we can, really, and that is very little. That's okay, we're going for peaceful Mongolia today. That's that's okay, we don't mind this. Scripture gives me a little bit more faith. Lovely, and theology is now in. Okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, Exodus, let's just do that again because I'm now getting the era score for spreading my religion, which I will. That absolutely will spread around nicely. I think Georgia's got to be the first religious target. All of these sort of eastern cities and southern cities from me are automatically taking my religion. That's great. But yeah, we need to we need to make sure that we can yeah, then boost our way to victory here. Oh, here we go. 20 gold per turn for my furs. Yes, 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 yes. That is good. That is good. And anyone want diplomatic favor as well? China does a little bit. Anyone for open borders? Nobody really wants that. But I've always got the temple in my main city. I just need to build it in my second city. And we'll all be doing good. And look, a third city. Look at me go. Hey, Mr. Big Spender. <laughs> Three cities, Ryan. That's what they call me. That's appalling for turn 90, isn't it? But, you know, we're going for a very strange game, and I'm just I'm just leaning into it massively. Oh, China are just absolutely frightening to my southern border. We did not do anywhere near as much settling too close. Just go away, China. Honestly, you're being a pain. Oh, oh Gilgamesh, actually, I'll, I'll... No, I can't. I can't take these because I might end up settling up to the north, and you're not going to like it. Oh, perfect. I've got iron now. Iron cells. Iron sells for a lot. Good, 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 good. Just settling that city on top of the iron was a big, big advantage for me there. I got the gold before I got the production. So there is a temple in my second city. The temple in my first city is still being done, but that's okay because I can go for one and then two apostles. We're going to improve my religion quickly. And then once we've got Yerevan, uh, which hopefully won't take too long actually. We've got a couple of envoys. Georgia are really giving me a pain on it. They are really trying to just, yeah, press me beyond all belief. But we'll go for evangelize and then evangelize and let's see what we can do. I've got 14 cities worth at the moment. So I think getting extra faith from followers is going to be a big deal because that will help me to basically just spread my religion over and over and over and over. So do I get faith for every follower, four followers? Do I go for pilgrimage? Well, it's basically the same faith to get eight followers, so I think I might go pilgrimage because that's, yeah, per city just seems to be a little bit better for me there. And I would quite like mosques as well, so I can spread my stuff a bit further. Good. Bit of a score for that one. We are now getting more faith per term. That's another 28 per term because it's on 14 cities, but as I said, that's not why we're doing this. Oh, bloody hell. They're just, they're sticking envoys in here like nobody's business. Eight I've got to get in Yerevan now. Eight. Okay, well that does mean that I pretty much am now forced into going for... Where are you? Uh, Marnie. We're going to need everything we can get into Yerevan to make this worth it. They want a galley. <laughs> they want a galley. I don't even know what galleys are. I've got nothing on the sea. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult sell for me. But okay, okay, this is fine. Are you going to try and spread your religion to me, Georgia? I mean... I like the I like the audacity, but I also dislike that massively. 
shall we? I think I might just have to get an Inquisition going quickly. Grove number two. Whoop. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. I love it. These tiles are amazing. Amani has just settled in Yerevan, which is great because now I can put all of my envoys there and take the city over. That is now mine. Good. Oh, George, you don't know what's just about to hit you. The wrath of Ursa Ryan, patron saint. That means my apostles get two promotions, which is great, and I can pick what they are. Apostle number one, here we go. Considering how useless my three cities are, 170 faith per turn is pretty damn good, don't you think? Like, I like that. That's that's a success. First, duh, I think it's got to be debater. Uh, yeah, our apostles are just going to be super crazy powerful at killing. Making more friends now. China has actually made itself to be a friend. That's great. I can now kind of just not worry so much about China springing across the southern border and killing me disgustingly. Am I the tech loser at the moment? 13 tech? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm so far behind. But I'm not the score loser, which is good. So that's fine. Am I, do I count as winning a religious victory at the moment? I don't think I do, do I? No, Portugal is 16, 16 cities, 100, uh, 272 faith. I'm on 178 faith. George is on no faith at all. Like, they will capitulate quickly once I start to chuck religious units at them, which hopefully I'll do pretty quickly. What's my second... Second, I mean, you know, I'm going to give the minus 75% pressure. That's an amazing, like, sort of second promotion to have. I'm going to get a religious alliance with Portugal so that our alliances can start to help to attack George's religion. I believe ba -ba -da -ba -da, it's a level two alliance. Yeah, level two is what I need to get to, but that's okay. It's, it's, we're, on, we're on a good start. China, I do not want a cultural alliance with, but I would like a research alliance or something. What do they want? Uh, economic, military, cultural. No, they do want a cultural. Well, I'm not going to lose cities to them, I guess, and they won't lose them to me, but we'll, we'll kind of... The gold is good on that one. What about military alliance with old Gilgameshi? Do you want that or an economic alliance? Research? Oh, they want a research alliance. People want different alliances, and they'll give different amounts of gold for each one, depending on what it is. What about you? Economic for you? No, they want a military over that one. Okay, cool. Right, we just got a load of money from getting some alliances. That's good. To be fair, it's not a load of money. 60 gold per turn is not a load of money, but for me it is because I have no money. Especially because barbs are just pillaging all my stuff right now and it is infuriating because I have no army at all. I'm at war with Georgia and Zulu now. That's frustrating because I literally was just about to move my apostles into their land. Okay. Right, well, never mind. We'll back off for a second. I'll see if I can go and find some of their missionaries in neutral lands. But that is unfortunate. What on earth happened there? Georgia declared war on Nubia. Zulu declared war on Nubia. That was a joint war against Nubia. Okay. Well, Nubia are my military allies, and I'm now wrapped up into that, which is a little bit unfortunate, but never mind. I managed to pull a couple of other people into the war. Not a huge amount but a couple of others. So we've got Nubia, Scotland and Portugal at war with the Zulu. And we've got Nubia, Gilgamesh, Scotland, Rome and Norway against Georgia. So yeah, they should be pegged back a couple of levels here. That's, um, it should be pretty good for me. Oh my God, look at all these barbs, get out. Luckily, <laughs> China are doing a better job of defending my land than I am, which is, which is nice. So I am getting a plus five bonus from my religion. Don't forget, I went for militaristic sect. Religious units receive plus five strength in combat. It doesn't actually say that I am, but I've got 110 plus five plus 20 plus five. That adds up to 140, but I've got 145. So the five bonus is in there. It's just not very obviously displayed for whatever reason. Just need to keep an eye out for the city states that I'm at war with. I am at war with Jerusalem at the moment. But that's about it. Oh, what just happened there? Oh, an archer just got one hit. That was a really good defensive archer there. It got one hit. Ugh. Barbs. Okay, I really need to increase my standing army here. Oh, yeah. Era score because my cities are just passively spreading to Georgia's whilst I'm at war with them. Hey, it's a, it, it's a small benefit, but I will take it. Oh, man, this is the tricky thing. Look, there's a, there's a missionary there that I can kill, but... They have a Corsa right next to it, so if I leave my religious unit there, it'll get killed. The last thing I want is for my very expensive super apostles to get absolutely broken. So I want peace with Georgia pretty much as soon as I can get it, really. City center buildings, please. Trade routes to trade city states. I mean, honestly, 
Who really cares about this religious city centre? Okay, I got a point, that's fine. Um, uh, oh, look, another city sort of starting to spread in my direction. Again, I really want peace. Peace is going to mean my apostles can just roam around Georgian lands doing pretty much whatever the hell they want to do. Which is the thing. Oh, I just really want to... They're just luring my missionaries in. They're playing a very clever game here. Oh, you shouldn't have left your missionary there. My Inquisitors have a lot of strength because I'm Mongolia. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Actually, we do want them to do that. We want them to do that as much as we can get away with, really. Fine. Right, actual governors now. We can get proper governors in. They give me science and culture and all the good things. Peace with Georgia? Yes, we can get peace with Georgia. If they'll give me a single gold, I will take that. What a deal. What a deal. Um, okay, perfect. Right, now, now we're at peace. I can now throw my missionaries into Georgian lands. If anything, peace was not what they should have done. This is going to be of a huge benefit to me compared to them. Here we go, look, one shot a missionary. I one shot a missionary. And that just spread the religion hugely across my empire. Oh, Georgia, you should not have done this. Now, the next thing I need to do is I've got a diplomatic quarter being finished in my capital. That's because I wanted the government plaza and the diplomatic quarter to give me all of the envoys and governor slots. But now we're going to focus on things like settlers, commercial hubs, and I'm going to start getting trade routes and spies over to basically anyone who has a religion. Georgia is my first target, but... Portugal is a good example of someone I want to go for as well. Norway, yeah, because we're going to get for a golden age next time. We've got uh, almost 2,000 spare faith just kicking around, which is cool as well. This should be really good. This should be really, really good. All I'm using my faith on is generating more faith, more religions, nothing else. Nothing else matters. Very Metallica-esque, but it's true. Like here, you see? You see? Look, what they've done is they've left me with 137 against 106. That is just delightful. One shot, oh, not a one shot kill. Come on, that should, the RNG was bad on that roll, but normally when you've got more than 30 above the other person, you one shot them, but that's okay. But yeah, look, this is, this is good now because we've got basically unrestricted access to Georgian lands. And as that happens, my faith pattern is going up. I've got 46 coming in from beliefs right now. That's a huge amount. It gets more every single time I convert one of their cities. Oh, yep, they just didn't bother to move their unit away. Bam. Okay, well, that spread to that one. Good, 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 good. And then I can just move my units in here now as well. Holy ground, you say? I think not. Bam. Uh, did that flip anything? Yes, it flipped another couple of cities. And then this apostle doesn't have spare charges, but this is good. This is good. Golden Age. Okay, this is a fantastic deal for me now. Make a dedication. We will go for Exodus again. That gives my units a bit more movement, a bit more maneuverability. Um, hang on, my potty is now gone. That's good. Come on, there must be more missionaries. Come and give... Just, just throw your missionaries at me, Georgia. It's the best thing to do. Uh, what I can do now is mop up. So, you can see that my religion has spread nicely into most areas of the world but now that i'm getting extra two charges this is the time to do a little bit of missionary spam because these are now got six spreads they can run around the Hajja sophia would be an amazing pickup for me if i can get that one but until then we just sort of hold fire but lots of missionaries yes 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 that's good and a couple of gurus as well these gurus uh, actually, I could have bought them earlier. They don't get the increased charges, but they can come and fix and heal my apostles. As mentioned before, I'm also going to get a trade route now with Georgia. This gives me a whopping plus 12, I believe, when I religiously wore them. If they've got any religious units left, they, they may not. Oh, hello. Look, again, another missionary. Thank you so much. Wabam. Yes, just keep throwing them at me. That would be good. I think Norway had a religion, right? Is they the next people? So Eastern Orthodoxy is still out there, but no Georgian city follows it now. Uh, the bird figure cult. Norway, 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 Norway. It hasn't left Norwegian lands, but that doesn't mean we can't go and investigate it a little bit. Like so. Hang on. Perfect stuff. Okay, right. We just need to get rid of this from Krakow. Then we can do a big old attack. Or oh, a religious emergency. I'm not going to vote down on that too much because if this goes through, that can often be a really good thing later into Everyone the game. Which stuff. city was it? Uh, it was Potty. Okay. 
Well, it means that Georgia are going to just flood their apostles and, and missionaries back to that city if they can. So you need to keep an eye out for that one. And that's a missionary now stood in the middle of nowhere, my friend. Oh dear. Dear, oh dear for you. That is uh, not a good thing. Hang on, we'll just give it as much adjacency as we can and bam. Uh, I think my... <laughs> I know, but <laughs> God's will. God's will. And whenever you do anything bad, just shout God's will and people will kind of understand it. Thoughts and prayers, Norway. Thoughts and prayers. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Davalex, Trefford Askby, Paul Coffey, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, and Matthew Hatch. For all of your support and for everybody that generally helps the channel to thrive, thank you all very much. See you next time.